It's another feather in the cap for the Chinbro Southern New England team with regard to the remarkable work they've done in recent years for Amtrak. The double railroad bridges in Stonington, Connecticut needed upgrades to increase the speed that trains can travel through the area. Amtrak also had the goal of increasing the clearance beneath the two bridges so that more vessels can access the harbor behind the spans. We got a limited notice to proceed in mid-April and I think we mobilized our two cranes within two weeks. Uh, the mobilization was very quick. By May 1st, I think we were out here on site with our drilling program, with our test shafts. And uh, from there, it was just a sprint to get to the completion. Amtrak has a railroad to run and they don't want any interruptions to their service. And they're looking for contractors who can not only work safe and work within their rules, but can deliver a project on time. Another contractor had worked on it for a year and hadn't gotten very far. I think we had agreed to do it in, in nine months. And that period of time, maybe it was possible and maybe it wasn't, but we thought we could do it. After months of preparation, the team performed the crucial climax of the job during a highly coordinated weekend operation in November. They rolled out the old bridges and rolled in the new spans amid a hazard-rich environment with minimal disruption to the Amtrak train schedules. The accomplishment earned the accolades of some of the top leaders in Chinbro and Amtrak. It's necessary to switch out the old bridges and to uh, get the new bridges in. I got involved, say, for a six-month period to design how we were going to get the old bridges out and the new bridges in. Uh, Amtrak specifically wanted them rolled in and rolled out. They didn't want to float them in just, just because of the time involved. For Amtrak, time is everything. And the security with knowing that you were rolling on a solid platform, not waiting for tides or, or anything like that, to have this job scheduled for a, a tidal event. It was a tough schedule to begin with because originally the job was uh, given to another contractor. It was supposed to be a year-long job, year-long planning. All we had was six months to design the roll-in structure and figure out how we were going to jack the bridges up and get them out and get the new ones in. It ended with a 15-hour outage that was really critical, but it was really the six months prior to that outage, putting in the foundations, getting all the work done in that early period of time that made it possible. Really, the, there was a lot of attention paid to the outage, but without all the pre-work being right, it couldn't have happened during the outage. Everybody pretty much here was selected to be here. I mean, it, starting with, with Don Smith, who was the general foreman who performed outstanding, to all the foremen below him and the operators, we basically picked our team and uh, they did fantastic. That, that was the guys here in the field. But then also you had, you had the equipment group backing us up. When we asked for a piece of equipment, it, it would show up. Uh, the design group, uh, since it was such a quick paced job, they were constantly just getting the, uh, the temporary structures designed for Chimbro Fab to actually jump through hoops to fabricate them and furnish them to the job site. So, I mean, it was truly a team effort. The roll-in took place 20 hours, one night, uh, from 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, Saturday afternoon till 7.30 in the morning on Sunday started by cutting the tracks. That was, you know, getting the power down, Amtrak getting the power down and cutting the tracks. Then the temporary bridges had to get out of the way so that we could have access to the old bridges, jack them up, get them on rollers, jack them onto the rollers, roll them out of the way, and get the rollers under the new bridge, jack it down and, and get that into position. In the end, you know, the position uh, the new bridges had to be within, you know, less than an inch of location. And when you're rolling something that weighs 700 tons on tracks, they're put in in a moment's notice. To get them within an inch was quite a feat. The biggest risk to us was that we were going to try and move those old bridges after we cut all the rails and not be able to move them. There's, there's always an issue, there's always a chance, there's a risk that someone did something that they didn't tell you about and somehow it was nailed down so that we couldn't get it. And when Amtrak cuts those rails, there's no way to go backwards. We could only go through to completion. 
When we cut the rails, there are no more trains. And Amtrak is all about running trains. But I think Amtrak was very happy with it. I think, in particular, they were very happy when they saw the old bridges moving. So uh, we wanted to thank you guys for the uh, extra effort, I think, that went in, and that, especially this uh, past weekend, uh, the 5th and 6th, where you all out there uh, seemed like a continuous basis uh, working from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday into Monday morning. Uh, I know our track department guys are out here uh, struggling with uh, getting everything in place. Uh, so we're running trains again. Uh, it's a big deal for us. Uh, I don't know if you realize how important it is to Amtrak. This is a northeast corridor. There's two tracks between New Haven and Boston. And if they don't go on these two tracks, they don't go. So it's important to us to keep this uh, railroad running. And again, thanks to everybody for the effort you put in to get this done. As Peter said, how important this is to Amtrak, the, the level of confidence that we have in all of you who go out there and make it happen every single day. You just don't know how much you're appreciated. And again, the level of pride and the level of confidence that we can have walking into one of these jobs. From this team, to our uh, Allen's team, the design group, to our fabrication shop, to our equipment group, I mean, it is one complete team, and, but again, you're the ones at the end of the day, you're the end users, and you're the ones who make it all happen. I was down a couple of weeks ago and got with the team on the job and asked a question, like I always ask, what's going to go wrong? And <laughs> Donnie and Bill thought for a few minutes and they said, nothing. And I said, we, you know, we got the float in, I mean the roll in, you know, it's all planned. Nothing's going. We, we don't need an auxiliary plan, a backup plan, or anything. Nothing's going to go wrong. You go, nope. Said, There's not one thing that's going to go wrong. Nope. I said, good. You guys are all ready then, and uh, we had a successful rolling, right? Congratulations and thanks for your, all your hard work. And so today we're having a celebration, and it's a celebration that represents the efforts of everybody that was involved in the project, right from the the client, the customer, right through to all of the subs and the people that put the work in place and uh, I want to compliment all of you for your team spirit, your, your attitude and your effort and above all this whole, this whole focus and emphasis on safety and making sure that everybody gets to go home in the same condition that you came to work in. So I want to thank you for that but also remember how we've got to be where we are and, and that it takes us working safe being efficient and working together as a team going forward. Thank you very much.